guys, good morning. Today marks the beginning of my Australian vlogs. I'm actually prepping for Australia today, just doing a bunch of like personal stuff, like glowing up for abroad. I'm just gonna like show you guys some things that I like to do to like feel confident and feel ready. We got a lot to do in less than a week. So I've been kind of all over the place, but here we go, here we are and here it begins so i'm gonna go get my eyebrows back today i'm going to do some teeth whitening um i'm gonna get my hair done which will be super exciting and then my nails done so we'll just do those four big things and then we'll just kind of like see where the day takes us and yeah my hair appointment is at 11 15 today and then i think my eyebrow appointment's at 9 30 so kind of got a buzz this morning and get there but the first thing i need to do this morning is whiten my teeth so We'll go ahead into my bathroom, but I just wanted to say, if you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe so you stay updated on all my vlogs for Australia and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead to my bathroom and get ready for the day. All right, all right we are in my bathroom. Just threw my hair up because I'm going to get started on my skincare routine. And I'm not going to jump into my skincare routine because you guys probably know my morning skincare routine by heart. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But if that is something you guys are interested in, I have a million videos of me showing my morning skincare routine in like all of my vlogs. So we'll skip out on that just to, you know, save you guys some time. And I want to show you guys the first like major thing that I do to help you know, glow up and to build up my confidence. So we'll get into that right after I'm done doing my skincare routine. All right, now that my skincare is all taken care of, I'm going to jump into our first order of business today for glowing up, which is teeth whitening. I love, love, love just having bright and white teeth because I think like, for me at least, the first thing I notice about people is like their smile or their teeth. It's like eyebrows eyes and teeth are like the first thing I notice ever about people which is really random so that's why for me one of the most important things I think is having a very bright and white smile Now that we got my skincare taken care of, we're going to hop into our first order of business today, which is whitening the teeth. I don't know about you guys, but one of like the first things I noticed about people, which is like kind of random, is their eyebrows and their teeth. So we're gonna make sure we have some pearly, white, and bright teeth. I think that one of the things that makes me most confident is obviously my teeth. And one of my goals hopping into it this new year was to just be healthy overall in different aspects of my life, not just like physically healthy and going to the gym, eating healthy, that kind of stuff. But oral health, I think, is a huge part of living a healthy lifestyle. So recently, to keep my teeth really pearly white and shiny, I have been using High Smile. And this has been a game changer for me, you guys. This is the High Smile Teeth Whitening Kit, and I actually have it out right now outside of the kit because I've been using this so much recently. It's been a part of my beauty routine, and I love it. So inside the kit, I just keep all of the different syringes, and then it comes with a mouth guard and then a little light that you just attach to it. I'll show you guys me obviously doing it. But I love this because it makes whitening your teeth at home so easy and there's no peroxide in it so it doesn't like feel painful or insensitive or anything like that. And I'm a person who has very sensitive teeth which is why I hate going to the dentist. I get like the goosebumps even thinking about it. But this, like I said, has been great because it just takes the pain away from whitening your teeth and it's a very clean formula too. It's vegan and cruelty free which I really like too if that's something that's very important to you when it comes to products, which it is for me. I think that this is amazing. So I'm going to do this little whitening thing and I'll show you guys how I do it. And then I'm just going to sit on my phone, watch some YouTube videos. It's great because 
you can like multitask. I love watching YouTube videos and you're whitening your teeth at the same time, you know. Can't really lose out on that. So if you guys are interested in high smile and you want to also get a whiter and brighter smile because I know it's something that also just like I said it makes me feel super confident. I will have a link down below for you guys to check out high smile for yourself but we're going to get into the teeth whitening so let's do it. Now that we got the pearly whites, I'm going to finish it off by brushing my teeth. Obviously, you know, brush your teeth every single morning, every single night. Um, and I'm actually going to be using the High Smile Day Toothpaste. They have a daytime toothpaste and then a nighttime toothpaste. So the difference is, well, this one has charcoal in it, which if you guys did not know, charcoal is so, so good for making your teeth extra white and super bright. So I love to use this at nighttime just to give my teeth that nice white extra glow. And then this formula I really like because they have a micro shield wax that actually acts as a protective barrier over your teeth. So for all my coffee lovers out there, this stuff is going to be your savior. It's going to protect your teeth from getting any coffee stains, anything like that. And that's why I've kept really white teeth even though I drink coffee still. you guys my little outfit of the day so I'm just wearing this cropped mauve colored sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters and then my black fanny pack from Target yeah this is seriously from Target and I love it and then this gold belt is from Princess Polly and then I'm just wearing my American Eagle mom jeans so yeah that's the fit and now we'll go head on out Okay, now that the first order of business is done, the second thing we're gonna do is get my eyebrows done because these bad boys, oh my god, they are so caterpillary and bushy and just like all over the place. It's a mess because I haven't gotten them done in a long time. So they need some work and I'm gonna go get those done. But first things first, actually, I need to stop at the um, post office because I have to drop off like a bunch of Poshmark orders and then we will actually go get my eyebrows done and it's like on the way so it's super perfect Oh my gosh, my appointments in 15 minutes. Actually. I don't know if I'll have time for the UP or the post office hmm. We'll make time whatever Okay, actually completely change of plans because I'm dumb and I forgot my card at my house and when I started driving to head to my eyebrow appointment, I realized that my gas was low, so then I went to the gas station, and then I was getting ready to pump my gas, and I was like, wait, I don't even have my card. So then I had to turn around, go back to my house, and now I'm back at the gas station. I had to cancel my eyebrow appointment. But you know what? That's just the way she goes sometimes. So, yeah, but I'm gonna go get a shake, and I will see you guys in a bit. Just gotta wait for my gas to pump. <laughs> strapped with the shake. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. 
That's a good one. This is just the Funfetti one. There's like little sprinkles all throughout it. Oh baby. Good stuff. And then I just got the mango aloe tea. We're ready to go. my god I am obsessed with my hair ah, I love it okay throwback to the last time I vlogged when I got my hair done and I was crying literally had a meltdown in my car today here we are it looks so dang good I went to a hairstylist that I've never been to before and I think I'm gonna go to her all the time now because I love it so fun, so cute. And now I'm gonna head to, why am I buckling up? Because I'm literally gonna get out of my car in two seconds. I'm gonna go to the post office, which is right to the salon, like we love convenience. And I'm gonna drop off the um, Poshmark things that I have. And then I think I'm gonna stop by home quick and then grab something to eat for lunch. And then we will go get my eyebrows done and my nails done, which I really, really, really need to get my nails done because they're just so gross right now. Like, they're plain and boring, and I'm not a fan of getting my nails done usually because it's, you just sit there and, like, do nothing. So I think I might do gel because it's A, faster, and B, better for your nails. I mean, I know it's not great, but it's better. And I asked my mom if she wanted to get them done with me, so I think my mom might actually come too which would be fun. So that's kind of what's popping. I cannot get over how much I love my hair. Okay, I'm gonna go to the post office and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi, hi. I just have these to drop off. Thanks. Yeah. Alrighty people, we are back in session and we are going to do our third thing today for self care slash glowing up. We need to get the brows done because like I said, they are so bad. I don't even wanna show you guys close up, but I didn't even like draw them in today because I knew I was gonna be getting them done and they're just bad. So we need to freshen them up, get them all trimmed and fresh around the edges. So let's go. The brows have been defined and perfected, finally. It was a long time in the making, baby, but we did it. Um, by a long time in the making, I mean I was too lazy to ever go get them done. But finally, we got them done. And I feel a lot better now. Now it is time to head to the nail salon. I was considering just doing my nails at my house, but I realized that I get so impatient and they never like dry fully and they always nudge. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't go through the frustration of trying to do it on my own and I'll just treat myself, go get them done, because why not? So, we're gonna do that. I don't even know what color I'm feeling. Probably pink, because I always get pink. But last time I actually got a fun color on my toes. I got like a light bluey color and I never usually do that because like I said, usually I'm a basic human and I just stick to this what I know. So oh, okay. I'll see you guys when I'm at the nail salon. Woo! These are just what the nails look like. I just got regular gel polish because I don't really feel like dealing with acrylics since they ruin my nails every single time. And this time I was like, no, we're not gonna do that. Um, but now I'm gonna go head over to the bank and deposit a check because, you know, a part of glowing up is depositing money in the bank account, am I right? Just kidding. I just have to get that over with and it's on my way home. So we'll do that. I gotta pick up my sister from her workout. And then I think later tonight I'll do like a 
self tan moment and we'll do a face mask that kind of thing yeah I'll show you guys like my favorite skincare products to use when I'm like tanning and exfoliating like my entire body that kind of stuff so yeah anyways what time is it right now honestly it's only 354 I feel like I've done a lot today look at us get after it we started off the day a little rough you know but I switched my mindset and I was like you know what we're not we're not dealing with this so now everything's all good and what is this car doing he like just pulled in and just pulled out I'm like really lost right now on that note I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> okay um, I don't even want to like look over I'm creeped out okay bye Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, he will not stop staring at me. I'm <laughs> I'm legit creeped out. And his windows are foggy. Like, brother, what are you doing inside that car? I don't want to know. He, like, parked so badly. I can hardly get around him. Oh my god, this stuff is so scary to me. Okay, bye. Bye. A check to deposit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. But thank God there was a Target right across the street, so I stopped and got a Celsius. This is like my favorite drink ever. A ton of you guys were commenting on the video when I tried Orange Theory for the first time and I had a bang, like one of those bang energy drinks. You guys were like, oh my gosh. You should try Celsius, like they're actually really good for you and they're good. And I'm like, oh my god, I've had Celsius before. But I go through phases with this drink. Like sometimes it just tastes like super artificial and like chemically. And so I don't like to drink it. I mean, it probably doesn't taste as artificial as like a bang would. But I don't know, it just, this flavor, no, not this flavor. The kiwi guava one I used to love. And then it seriously just started to taste so bad. So we'll see how this one is. This one's better, but. It still has that weird like taste after. I don't know. This is the watermelon flavor. And they came out with a grape flavor and I tried that the other day. Oh, that one was really good too. Anyways, and I'm talking about Celsius. I'm... Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice weekend. You too. Oh, I like your nail polish. Thanks, I just got them done. <laughs> yeah. She complimented my nails. Love that, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go get my sister. And here's to my Celsius for not falling asleep on the road. That was a curb. Okay, I'm with my sister. I just Hello. picked her up from her workout and now she's driving me around. We switched roles because she has her permit so she can drive if somebody older than 18 is in the car. So I got a little personal driver here. <laughs> I feel good. We have to go like go get her skates sharpened or no, we're getting new blades. New blades. Okay. Happy life, baby. New blades, and I was like, Lael, the last thing I want to do right now is go drive and get you your new blades. But she loves me so much that she did, and I appreciate it. Yeah, but you're driving. Good driver, Lael. She's driving Thank in my, you. like, my car is so fresh and new, it's out of the shop, and I'm like, you better be careful. My car. Just get ah, you, like, whipped out of the driveway. Okay, well. We're out of here. We are out of here. We're going to go get these new skates. She's got a hockey game tonight. And that's that. Ooh, adjusting the mirror. Look you know, you smog, right? Yeah. Smog. Shoulder, mirror. Shoulder, no. Sh no, it's signs. Signs over the shoulder, mirror. Go. There we go. Hey guys, okay. Clearly I'm so tired. Oh my god. Uh, it's been a long day. I am trying to adjust my tripod here. Alright, it has been a minute, obviously. I cannot. Stop yawning. Basically, I have just been organizing my clothes and doing some packing. Just kind of like sorting things out because tomorrow is going to be like my big old packing day. And I'm going to be getting literally everything organized tomorrow. So today I was like trying to prep myself a little bit and just put clothes away in bins. And then I sorted out all the clothes that I will potentially bring with me. And then tomorrow we're going to go through it all and figure out what's gonna stay, what's gonna go, all that good stuff. But I'm so tired, you guys. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Oh my gosh, I need to go to bed. It's not even that late. I don't even wanna tell you guys what time it is because you'll be like, 
you want to go to bed and it's Oh, my phone's dead, so I can't really even show you guys the time. I guess that's a good thing. But of course, I have to do one last little, you know, self-care type of thing. So I'm going to do a face mask. I'm just going to wash my face, and then we'll figure out what face mask we'll do tonight. I'm kind of feeling like a... I don't know, actually. We'll figure it out. You guys have seen me wash my face a million times, so I'm not going to put you guys through that, but... I'll show you guys us doing the face mask, so yeah. Now that my face is all fresh and clean, I'm going to use a face mask. This is just the Cupo Coffee face mask from Lush, and I'm going to put this all over my face. This is just like a very energizing face mask. Honestly, it's not appealing looking, I'm aware, but you know what? That's okay. It smells like coffee, it smells like the morning time but it's night haha <laughs> so you should probably do this like face mask in the morning but you know what my skin will just look fresh and energized tomorrow so we're gonna put this bad boy on and then let it sit for a while it looks like I'm putting like mud on my face but nope just some grounded up coffee beans, no big deal. <laughs> Not a weird thing at all. To that, now I leave this on for 15 minutes, and in the meantime, I'm going to self tan, baby. Cause that's another part of my night. I forgot that's another order of business that we gotta take care of. So let's get to it. Um, I love doing a nice self tan. You know, I don't wanna be the palest looking person in Australia, all the Aussies are tan. I need to match up to them and blend in, you know, blend in with the culture. So I need to get tan and I need to do it fast. Oh my gosh, I look like a monster right now. Ooh, spooky. Okay, moving along. So for myself, tanning stuff, I just keep it all in here. So what I do is just take this little mitt and then this St. Moritz self tanning mist. And I just spray it on my legs. Obviously, I don't wear clothes while doing so. And then if I'm going to tan my face, which I'm going to do after I take off this face mask, I'll use my Isle of Paradise drops or my Tan Lux face drops. It honestly depends on my mood. I don't know what I'm feeling today. Maybe we'll do purple because I'm wearing purple. So, you know what? That's the plan. After that, I keep my tan on for like... The entire night so then in the morning I'm gonna shower it off and then I just put on a lush lotion like this is the karma cream hand and body lotion and then I just rub that all over my legs and my arms once I get out of the shower and wash off the self tan in the morning so yeah that's my little self tan routine I guess I do it like maybe once every two weeks ish I should do it more though but I'm gonna do that and then by the time I'm finished tanning myself my face mask should be good to go so yeah oh my gosh i cannot get over how much of a monster i look like with this face mask on it's like i just hopped out of a swamp or something <laughs> i really like it it feels really good on my face i just obviously self-tanned so i tossed on this robe and now I'm going to take this off my face and then also brush my teeth. Um, as I mentioned this morning, if you guys remember, I'm going to use the High Smile um, Nighttime Toothpaste. I like this one a lot because it has activated charcoal in it. So if you guys are familiar, like charcoal is so, so, so good for your teeth. It really helps make them super white. I used to use charcoal dust on my teeth all the time, like last summer. But my mom got so mad because it would get all over the sink because it was literally just like charcoal dust and you dipped your toothbrush in it. But this is a lot easier and cleaner because it's just within the toothpaste itself. So you don't have to worry about creating like a big mess or anything. So I've been loving to use this to, like I said, help keep my teeth super white and bright. Love, love, love using this at night to help get my teeth super white and all my self-care stuff. But... Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, I have a lot of Australian vlogs coming for you guys, so 
be ready for them. This was only the beginning, so I'm very excited. But make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And of course, follow me on my social media so you can stay updated on my life and what's going on. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.